really enjoyed the film. It was it was really good. Uh, I, I love seeing different types of coming of age stories, and it's about time we see one that's focused on Asian Americans. I agree. I agree. I think it's been a long time coming. So I wanted to ask, um, can you walk me through the audition process for this? Yeah, so my audition was probably um, not traditional, um, what people typically go through. Um, I was Eddie's assistant um, up until three weeks before production. And so <laughs> uh, I walked into the studios in Astoria um, and he greeted me at the front door, which you know, Eddie's a nice guy, but he never greets me at the front door. And so he asked for my phone, he asked for my laptop, and I thought I was fired. And so he he took it away from me, gave me scene 44, which was um, the Michael Chang scene where I'm sitting on the couch with Mr. Chin watching the Chang Lendl uh, tennis match. And he told me, I take as long as I want, um, about three or four hours, eat lunch, but don't do anything. Don't answer your phone. Don't look at an email. Like, I've got all of that and I want you to try to remember these lines. And so uh, I took about three and a half hours. Um, I went into our line producer, Mike Tadros's office, uh, was right next door and we recorded that scene. Um, he sent it into the studio uh, along with a couple words of encouragement and why he wanted to do it. And I had three weeks to prepare to become Boogie. Wow, that's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Obviously, there's a, there's a little bit of a topic in the film about being included in inclusivity. And I feel like mm -hmm. after this past weekend, there's a, a bigger conversation that we continue to have in Hollywood. Um, mm -hmm. For you, do you feel like things are, are turning around in this industry? I know you're, you're relatively new to the acting world, but you seem to be in, in it for a little bit behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, I'm new to the industry. Um, but I think the industry just gives you a platform. Um, and so for me, it's, it's starting to see the tide change a little bit. Um, I want more of like the real and authentic stories to start coming out. Um, and I think that that's what's important. You know, the Crazy Rich Asians was great to have Asian representation and to see it. Uh, but the relatability factor wasn't there for me. Um, you know, I don't live a crazy rich lifestyle. I don't have access to everything. Um, and what Boogie allows for is just kind of like that normalization. People have been through this in some which way. People have their version of Boogie, whether that's you're into basketball or not. Like it's you, you've been through this and you understand it and you can relate to it. And so that's what makes this so special is because people can tap into the realness and the authenticity. Um, and I hope that that starts to flame around. It starts to kind of kind of wildfire um in a way where we can start getting these these authentic stories being told because they're out there we've been through them we know them um and we just want them to be represented i agree i i i, I know i have to wrap but i just want to say i do completely agree with you uh i love when i see stories of everyday stories I, I don't like when it's just like in a marketing agenda where I watch a movie and I'm like, oh yeah, this is the first of its kind, the first of this. It's like, I exactly. want everyday stories. So exactly. thank you for that answer. Uh, love thank talking you. to you. Best of luck to you in your career. Thank you so much, Scott. It was a pleasure. Take care. Nice talking to you. Take care.